Subsidised public transport for young people is also set to go under National's plan. National calling that policy badly designed from the start. But their replacement plans are under fire, with minor parties, including potential coalition partners, lining up to critique today's announcement. Here's don't worry, political they'll have an extra Mike $3 Michelle. a week. National wants to put the brakes on free and half price public transport, leaving children, young adults and low income earners out in the cold. I think that's not I a great idea. A like now. we use public transport all the time. Yeah, especially for students. Yeah. Like that's their main mode of transport. I'll probably just like walk even though it's like really far. Yeah. It's one of the ways the party will fund its tax cuts and mm. it includes taking over two billion dollars in revenue. So this is what we're saying, right? When we say that, yeah, any amount of money in my pocket's a good thing. No, no, because we lose things for it. Even if you don't use, I don't use trans public transport, right? But lots of people do, and lots of people use it as a way to get around because they can't afford fuel or whatever. And you lose that. So it's not just a, unless you're completely selfish and all you think about is your own back pocket, it, it can make society worse, which will affect you eventually. It can make economics and the economy worse, which will affect you immediately. It might not affect you on day one but if it makes it harder for everybody else it eventually will trickle down to affect you from the emissions trading scheme the common emergency response fund at the moment funds the entire walking and cycling budget of the transport budget so that means that there will be no money for walking and cycling bus fares will uh, double for Aucklanders they've taken away the regional fuel tax well then how are we going to pay for the upkeep of our motorways and anything new and then we're basically you're just saying over to you right privatize payers. Overall, Sell this tax yeah. expert rates the rest of the country. Plan, three out of five. Pretty much as I expected. Um, nowhere near as ambitious in its scope as either the Greens or Te Pāti Māori. This hey. is a, a tax plan that a Labour Party could have released. Act argues the back pocket boost is more of a blip. Oh, I think actually for most people it is loose change. I'd say to David Seymour, fifty dollars a fortnight is a very heavy pocket of loose change. Twenty five dollars a week. Party, Not really. Actually, convinced. Nicola, so, sorry, finance minister. Twenty-five dollars a week is only ten or twelve coins. It's actually not that heavy, just quietly. It's not that heavy. Got, uh, When's the last time she saw a coin? Once again, <laughs> in the name of um, protecting the squeezed middle. Down country in Timaru, today's tax plan stopped Winston Peters Look and at that, his tracks. That vibrant the crowd. Squeezed middle. It's no, the tongue. Going to a health program. That annoys me. Maybe I heard that. <laughs> Maybe I don't know why. Teddy Craig's. <laughs> <laughs> he says National's taking a gamble and basing its costings on two major variables. It's all predicated on mass immigration True. and a house price bubble. Otherwise, none of those figures stack up. Wellington voters calling it how they see it. A lolly scramble, you know, they're just trying to get people to vote for them. Well, that's true better. for all I mean, political yeah, sides, isn't it? a good step. You need extra money in, the, in people's pockets is, is going to help them. National will be hoping it'll help them too. Mikey Sherman, One News. Okay, Jess, is this uh, just criticism politics as usual or have National left themselves exposed with this announcement? Well, what this announcement does is allows National to really go out there and sell this message. This is what you'll get. This is what's in it for you. Labour, on the other hand, is going to have it's to true. ask New Zealanders to look beyond what's in their... So she's saying what we've just been talking about. Labour's message needs to be what we're doing is better for the country. National's message is what we're doing is better for you, which is kind of the left versus the right in a nutshell, isn't it? It's like individualism and you and my rights and my money and my $6 versus helping what, your neighbour. What's Labour's slogan? Oh, uh, you've, I don't know, can't remember, tell me. In it for you. Oh, in it for you. Yep, in it for you. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Not us. Yeah, not true, us. actually. Yeah, true. I, not we. Yeah, true. Back pocket and think about what people are going to lose, which is a harder political sell. There are some holes for Labour to dig into here. First of all, there are groups of people who will do better under Labour, those lower income families, of for example. And there are some popular things that people will lose, those cheaper fares for public transport for people under 25, two-year-olds getting free 20 hours early childhood education, for example. But it really comes down to big philosophical differences. National wants to help by giving people more money to help them in the you, cost of living crisis. Your pocket. Labour wants to help with more government policies to help people mm. in the cost of living crisis. And it's really about who can make that sell to the voters.
This was a policy plan many people have been waiting for. How do you think the National Party leadership did today? This was a big one for National. It was their big policy, a huge amount of money as well. And you could really feel the tension in the room today. There was a lot riding on this for them. Nicola Willis did a good job of really pushing that message over and over again of being cautious, of being sensible with spending. There's only one day left in this place before MPs go out on the campaign trail and National MPs will be let loose to go out and try and sell this policy. All right. There we go, son. Any chat you want to get to super quick? Bomber's in the green room so we can bring him in and we can have a bit of a chat and uh, and focus on the housing question as well. But before we do that, anything that you want to throw out Yeah, there? May maybe a couple of, of references to um, Nicola Willis's very relatable family night in <laughs> trademark. I can finally go out um, to the movies because I've got $80 more a week out of my $300,000 salary. <sighs> The fake laughing that they do when they're doing their little scripted casual chat was yeah. truly gross. Yeah. Lol, DVD night from United Video <laughs> or Video Easy. Again, when was the last time you had a DVD night? Yeah. Uh, and again, she's so out of touch, she thinks people can still rent DVDs. And with the pocket of coins that she's talking about as well. Yeah. Just, right. just nonsense. Oh.